Come on. G'day, I'm Damien Kavanagh, Systems Engineer, and I'm here with Marcus Ransom to talk about the news from Apple's event earlier today. Marcus. Yeah, so we've been waiting for this event for a while. Uh, it's really exciting to see what Apple's got in store. Uh, we got to see new HomePod minis in colours and the next generation of AirPod Pro. Um, but the thing we've been really waiting for is the successor to the M1, Apple's next range of Apple Silicon laptops. And we're expecting one successor, Marcus, but we got two. Yes, so this was really exciting. Uh, we got the M1 Pro, and then we also got the M1 Max with really um, increased graphics performance uh, for those that need an incredibly high performance machine. Fantastic. And uh, starting with the battery life, Marcus, what can we see on yeah, these new this, ones? This is really exciting. So uh, up to 21 hours battery life, which on a high performance laptop is, is really quite amazing. So you can go and work wherever you need to work without needing to plug in for a really extended period of time. Fantastic. And we're all making plenty more video calls these days. What about the webcam? So those video calls are now going to be high resolution with the 1080p webcam. Uh, it's got a much larger sensor. It handles low light conditions a lot better. So the quality that you're going to be able to get out of the built-in camera on this machine is going to be really great. And how about connectivity, Marcus? Uh, MacBook Pro users have been living the dongle life for some years now. Any change to that? Yeah, so we've got MagSafe 3 has come back, which uh, I know is something I've been really looking forward to and I've really missed. So uh, the machines come with a MagSafe 3 cable, um, but you can also still charge over Thunderbolt USB. So we've got three Thunderbolt USB-C ports. We've also got an SDXC card slot on the machine, as well as a built-in HDMI port. Fantastic. And uh, speaking of HDMI, how many external displays can we run? So this is something a lot of people have been asking us with the M1 machines and with Apple Silicon is how many external displays are we able to run? Now, one of the great things about the M1 Pro is that we can run two external displays in addition to the built-in display. The M1 Max, we actually get four external displays. I'm sure that's going to come in handy for some of our professional users. When we get our hands on uh, one of these machines over the next few weeks, we'll be creating some more videos like this, taking a deeper dive into the new features and specifications. But in the meantime, if you've got any questions, please contact your CompNow account manager or send an email to info at compnow.com.au.